an important new alert about the safety of cell phones and the possible risk of cancer, brain cancer in particular. It comes from the World Health Organization, the powerful health arm of the United Nations, and scientists from 14 countries have reversed those years of reassurance. After a new review of all the evidence, the scientists decided to put cell phones in the same risk category as chloroform, exhaust from gas engines, and the pesticide DDT. So what has changed? How strong is the evidence? Our Jim Shudo has spent the entire day questioning the experts. He's here now, Jim. Well, Diane, this is a first, and it's a big reversal for the WHO, which had insisted there is no evidence of a link between cell phones and cancer. Now it says it has found that evidence, and while it's still collecting data, felt it was necessary to issue this warning now. This is your brain with a cell phone turned off, and this is your brain with a cell phone turned on. Notice the red areas at the top. Studies had already established that radiation from cell phones increases brain activity. Today, for the first time, the WHO concluded that low-level radiation from cell phones could possibly cause cancer. A 2010 study they examined showed participants who used cell phones for more than 10 years had double the rate of a rare type of brain tumor called a glioma. Placing cell phones in the same category as lead and engine exhaust, the director of the WHO's cancer research arm said in a statement, Given the potential consequences for public health, it is important to take pragmatic measures to reduce exposure. A small but growing group of scientists say that since the cancers involved take years, even decades to develop, there is a need to act now. A lot more research needs to be done, but science is very slow on these, these matters. It took decades to move from cigarettes may cause harm to cigarettes actually cause harm. Today, CTIA, the group representing the wireless industry, noted the WHO did not conduct any new research, adding, in the past, it's given the same score to pickled vegetables and coffee. Ellie Marks blames her husband's brain cancer on 20 years of cell phone use, noting his tumor grew on the side of his head where he held his cell phone. Do you wish a warning like this had come out years ago? Oh, absolutely. Had he known, he never would have held it directly to his head and he wouldn't be dying from brain cancer. No group is recommending we stop using cell phones, but some, such as the American Cancer Society, say those who want to change should consider using headsets or the speakerphone option. We notice that even some cell phone companies recommend keeping phones at a distance from the body. For the iPhone, five-eighths of an inch. For the BlackBerry, a full inch. We polled dozens of brain specialists around the country to see if they take any precautions themselves. And of 92 who answered, Diane, about a third of them, 27, said they already use earpieces to protect themselves.